Hello guys, Gabriel here from Better AMS. Today we're discussing brand analytics. This tool will help us identify which products have the most clicks and conversions at the search term level. So I wanna walk you guys through uh, what I like to compare, what I like to take a look at. Uh, does this, is, is this gonna help me with keyword research? Is this gonna help me uh, to take a uh, database decision for optimizing my listings, even my, my, my listing images, stuff like that. So I picked up um, a search term to show you guys a few examples and how I like to use this tool. In this case, our seed keyword is gonna be Teak Heddle. According to uh, the Helium 10 tool X-Ray, Teak Heddle has 163,000 searches over the last 30 days. It's a keyword with a total $5.2 million in revenue over the past uh, 30 days, just on the first page alone, like just on the first, uh, a uh, few results. So what I wanted to do is um, look at these numbers with you and uh, try to come up with conclusions or ideas on uh, whether it's a good idea to go ahead and push this keyword or not and uh, take ideas of uh, stuff like, wow, why is this guy doing so well on this keyword? Could I do Could I do similar on, 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 a, on, on the same keyword or in my in my category okay so tea kettle is pretty broad like it can mean a lot of things as we as we can see on the on the different uh search term combinations that we got here we got portable tea kettle we got travel tea kettle we got glass tea kettle cast iron tea kettle so it's normal or it's pretty common that on a seed keyword um the market share it's split pretty even and we can see that reflected on a keyword like this one um, tea kettle first result, the number one click days and it has 9.22% click share and 9.10% conversion share. And the second best click days and it has 5.26% click share and 5.90% conversion share. So the more specific some of these keywords get, the more granular you get, you will see that, um, people in the space are pushing the hardest because they can completely go ahead and dominate the entire search term up to a point where they're where they are taking uh, up to 30, 40% of the sales. And here's a really good example. For Glass Tea Kettle, for instance, this brand over here, this ASIN right here, the number one clicked ASIN for Glass Tea Kettle has 18% click share, which is fair. Like if you're ranked on um, top of page organically, Maybe he's on the highly rated column and then he's also running sponsored brands and then doing some uh, sponsored brands video ads. He's got, he, he has reached a point where he's dominating almost 40% of the total conversions happening for that keyword. So that's crazy because if I'm selling tea kettles and I specifically, I specifically have a glass tea kettle um, with this guy dominating up to 40% of the total sales going on in there. First, it's gonna be really hard to rank you see, if he's got more than one ASIN uh, rank for this keyword. And second, I gotta identify what is his current strategy. Is he like running headline ads and sponsor brands videos? So that means I need to go ahead and push this keyword uh, separately, um, which translates into being more aggressive from a bidding standpoint. Or does that mean that I want to avoid it for now and maybe uh, go ahead and try, I don't know, premium glass tea kettle instead um, because he's already dominating the market, um, dom dominating a lot this keyword. The other competitor, the second most click product has a very similar click share, but it has way, way lower conversion share. And here's 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 where, where, where I start making some some assumptions or some conclusions and I start opening several tabs to take a look at, the, at, at these ASINs because the fact that this product has almost 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 the exact same or it's actually it's actually the exact same click share and around what is it like four times less the conversion rate tells me that there is an issue with the listing that there is something going on with the ASIN that it's not uh, helping the uh, purchase process. It's 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 going from uh, awareness to consideration, and then in the purchase process, 
it's stopping right there and and people are probably abandoning their cards or discarding the product or choosing something else even though he's doing as good as the other guy in terms of like getting the traffic to the listing so if this would be a client or this would be a product of mine and i would pull this data i would immediately go ahead and um say that there's something going on with a listing that needs to be taken care of and what could this be this could be i don't know an ac uh, a, a review that's uh let's say uh that it's a review that's that, that's a really bad review that's ranking at the top and uh when people take a look at it and since it's ranking at the very top people immediately like back off from the product or um or sometimes they do this strategy where they have a a, a really um low priced variation and that's kind of the clickbait but then it hurts their metrics you don't really want to do that um but that's kind of the things that uh you know need to be that those little details can make a huge difference maybe you got uh, a competitor that's running uh display ads who's uh offering more value than you and that's why you have all of these people uh going from your listing to somebody else's listing because you're not protecting your uh, product detail pages uh, running all of the different available ad types so that's kind of the things we, we start like navigating and making a deep dive on because those are the things we, where we might be losing market share to our competitors and this is a great example in terms of wow we just got the, the exact same click share but then our conversion rate is so bad we're losing 30% uh, of, of the potential sales we could get based off the traffic we're getting. So very, very interesting. There are very, very inter inter interesting insights that you can get from uh, brand analytics, looking at uh, performance from, uh, looking at performance at a search term, at the search term level. And this is just one keyword, right? Uh, but this is definitely one of the keywords you would, you would wanna dominate uh, so if you got another five, another 10 like these, um, you know, you can make a lot of money if you're doing it right. Just like, just like my guy right here, they're, they're killing it. So that's all I got guys. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, from the keywords that Amazon gets you, which are a total 160 keywords, there are some that will be relevant. There are some that we, that will be non-relevant and you will want to, um, uh, I like to say you will want to handpick what's best for you. You will want to go ahead and and uh, carefully select which keywords you want to go after, and the best way to do it, the best way to select your main keywords is take a look at who you are going against, who you are fighting against. So um, this is a great way to uh, get some perspective on what the competition looks like, what the category looks like, um, what are my competitors doing or not doing that I could take advantage of. So that's all I got, guys. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments. Happy to help and happy to, um, you know, make a make a make a deeper, um, more, uh, 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 yeah, uh, some other examples on on stuff like this. Take care.